Hi, this is James Glass with James Glass Company and this brief video is about the importance of maintaining a barrier between the heated and cooled um, and the cool spaces in, in, your, in a building. This is um, a little video on the building science of, of making sure you don't have a breach in the building envelope. What you're looking at here is a custom fixture in my shop. It's actually for a removable bicycle stand. Um, and it's a penetration into the ceiling. Um, and there's an insert that <clears throat> goes up in here that has a, a tool mounted on it uh, that holds a bicycle. That's not really relevant to the, to the video. What's relevant is the uh, breach. So the finished drywall will come at the bottom of this height, see this piece of wood, drywall will be screwed to this. There'll be insulation above this uh, and then in, and that insulation will have a, a vapor barrier. So this penetration where the tool goes into um, is now a source of air leakage into the unheated area outside the envelope. Because the area that we're looking at up here is, um, you can switch back around, there's some of the insulation. And down on that end, beyond the insulation of that void, is uh, soffit vents, which bring air in to the space above the heated area. And over down on there is ridge vents, which, uh, in addition to a power fan, take uh, the uh, air out. And so this entire area in the space outside the building envelope. So what I'm going to do with this penetration is first wrap it in tuck tape. So all of these holes, these holes here will be below the envelope. They'll be inside the envelope. And there'll be a pin that goes through. This is a, it's part of an adjustable mechanism. So above into the outside the envelope I've tuck taped it. And then I will be um, well, after I finish the framing that goes in here, I'll be spray foaming all around it and wrapping this in insulation. So the air that penetrates the receiver for the tool down in here will go up inside, but will terminate here where I welded it to the where it will terminate here where I welded it to this base plate, and no air will exchange between this area and the area inside the building envelope. And so, uh, on this particular custom fixture, that's what you have to do to make sure that you maintain seal when you've got a penetration like that. Well, thanks for watching the video. And to learn more about building science and material science, check out some of my other YouTube videos. Or uh, send me an email at jamesglass at jamesglass.org. Thanks for watching.